that is our school room tour and the homeschool haul of all of our homeschool supplies. Hiya. So we're on our way to the gas station because I have been working on vlog stuff all day long, but so has Matt on a totally different spectrum. So yesterday we announced in a separate vlog, well not vlog, but separate video, a bonus video I guess, that we were going to do Scaretober. And so Matt has been really pumped about this. Yes, what I have you have. been doing all day? I have been getting in touch with and trying to get in touch with locations and people uh, of areas that they have seen things or stuff like that, the scary locations that we were trying to get in touch with and maybe go and visit and bring to you guys. Um, there's a few in Wisconsin that sound really neat, a couple of roads that are pretty cool and I'm trying to get in touch with some people who have witnessed things and just really cool stuff that I think is gonna be a lot of fun for us and you for Scaretober. I'm actually starting to get a little bit like, I'm like, are you sure you want to go do this stuff? So when it comes to this kind of stuff, I'm a little bit leery. So even though I write a lot of like paranormal stuff, I'm a little leery about going, but maybe it'll be good food for my writing. So yeah. it'll be a fun adventure, I just, something I don't normally do. I just in not saying that we're going to go to this location, but I mentioned a place um, in Wisconsin called Bray Road to Christy and she's like <laughs> <laughs> and of course me you know I'm very like well yeah but are you sure it wasn't just somebody playing a Halloween prank I mean I really tear this stuff apart you guys I'm very analytical about it so and Matt's like yeah we gotta go we gotta check it out because they've but seen it I want to I want to like do things that are gonna be a lot of fun and a little scary and kind of a little inform you know informative as well for for you guys and i just think the scaretober thing is just going to be a lot of fun and what a cool way to kick off halloween and it's going to take a lot of prepping for this usually you know we, we're just vlogging you know whatever we're doing that day but this is kind of something that we're gonna really have to prep for and do so if there is any locations, like, you know, you kind of know where we're at, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, that you would Make like sure you let us, know. us to visit for Scaretober, and you'd like to see, maybe, maybe you don't even live close by, you just want to see, put it in the comments. We'll see the comments, we read every comment, and we'll, we'll try to see if that's somewhere we can go. Right now, we're going to get caffeine, because I have house clean, to clean, and I have been very, very lazy today. I think we all have. Yeah, I think we're just wore out. But School it's time starts. to kick it back in. It does. School starts next week. And... Are you ready? I'm actually ready. And the kids are ready. Aspen yeah. was at the computer today going, can we do school? Can we do school? So it's been a pretty quiet day here. Not much to film, but I did want to show you. I told you that I'd show you the homeschool supplies that we already have. We still have a few things to pick up. And I thought I'd show you how our homeschool room is set up this year, which for some of you, You've seen a lot of it, but I did add some new things to it. So take a peek. Here's what we got. Hey guys, so just a quick run through here. Some of the stuff that we have for the kids for the school year. We've got a big pack of erasers, some of the thin markers, and there are washable in here. And then some of the fat, super washable markers. That whole pile will be for Aspen. That'll get him started for the year. He dries his markers out a lot. So he's always losing lids. We always want to have backups for him. Some scissors for the kids. Aspen still needs a pair, a pair of preschool scissors, which those are really cool and they're super safe for little kids like him. And then we've got four packs of colored pencils, four sharpeners, some of these binder pouches. I have them put them in their binders and they'll keep their pencils and erasers and all their special things. A couple of calculators that we'll put in our bins. Some highlighters, those will get put in the bins and I'll just pass these out to the kids as they need to use them. These are actually for me, these are flashcards. We do lots of different things with these. So there's three packs of the small. I don't use the big as much, but I do like to get a pack here and there. Got a bunch of eraser, uh, erasers, a bunch of rulers to put in our supply kits. Little crayons for Aspen, then some big packs of crayons here. These are just more for art projects, not for their actual coloring, so they don't have to be Crayola. 
And we've got two of the 64 boxes. Lots of this kind of glue. We'll also have some stick glue. Thing of hand sanitizer for the kids that want to use it. Not that we get a lot of germs in here, but it is nice to have it. And then pencils. We've got four packs of those to start. Black pens, blue pens. I need a red checking pen yet. And then a bunch of different sizes of notebooks, college ruled, wide ruled, three subject, one subject. And I think I showed you guys, but tons of folders, you guys. Look at that, tons of folders. So that is our homeschool haul for right now. We still have lots of other stuff to get yet. All right, guys, so this is my writing room slash the homeschool room during the school year. Last year, if you were watching, I put a lot of this stuff up. I put the ABCs on the wall. And then just different things that say music center, art center, computer, reading, social studies, writing center, just to kind of give them the feel of a school room. We've got our United States map, our world map, and then I'll take you over here first. This is our table where the kids do art projects. Sometimes they work together. We do science experiments, that kind of stuff. And so there's normally four chairs, but I think the kids took one out right now. And then if we need to, we bring an extra one in. A little bit of artwork that the kids have done, some math games, and then I don't know why this is down. This is normally up in the window. We found this at a church sale last year, and I just thought it was kind of cool, kind of school-themed history, stuff like that. This is the preschool center. So this has some wooden puzzles for Aspen, a, pl a Play-Doh thing. We've got a little bit of Play-Doh in the bucket right now, but I'll have this stocked full because Aspen and the kids just love Play-Doh and they do lots of stuff with it. There's some old checkers coins here. Just They can stick them in the Play-Doh or do whatever they want. Some geometric shapes. They usually stick those in the Play-Doh. And then there's some Play-Doh cutters and stuff in our Play-Doh center, puzzle center bucket. There's some preschool centered board books, coloring books, which looks like one probably needs replaced, but we've got lots of different coloring books. There's a leap pad, an old one. I got this really cheap. And then there's normally a write-off leap pad book, which I'm gonna go grab that and show you guys because it is super cool. Aspen's leap pad um, like dry erase book, and he really loves this, and it has all the numbers so he can practice on it. And you can see he uses it a lot. I need to clean it for him before the school year starts. But it's got shapes on it. He likes to have potato heads drawn on it. It has different colors and stuff and then different shapes that he can trace. And then we can have him point out the different colors and the different shapes. And as he gets a little older, how many stars are there? And then he does know how to do this. And then I help him mark it off and show him which one it is once he's guessed right. Letters. More letters. And yeah, so that's his Leap Pad dry erase book. And he really loves this thing. He plays with it a lot. You see, he's already been using his table. He's got some marker on there we need to wash off, but this is his little preschool center table and his markers will go in here and his dry erase and then he'll have some crayons that we put in there for him too. And he's got his own little desk drawer with his paint shirt and sometimes he stashes little board books and stuff in there. He really just likes to play in this thing. He stole a marker and put it in there too. So we'll get him loaded up for the school year, but that's his little center. And I still wanna get some stuff to decorate the wall for him. So this is the hub of our learning center. I'm gonna back up and see if I can show you a little bit. So there is my desk. This is where I do all my writing and I also teach the kids school. And then we have an additional computer desk when I have two kids and an additional computer when I have two kids that need to work at the same time. Cause sometimes I have kids in the same grade or same grade levels, like middle school and stuff, needing to work on activities at the same time. So, and then this is usually where I keep extra art that the kids do. I'll move it into that folder, different projects and stuff to kind of minimize what's going on in their separate folders. They each have their own binder. And then usually there's a book that they're studying or something. This was one from last year, so we'll have to take that out. This is Skylar's because he has to keep a bigger transcript for college and stuff like that. Up here is kind of my center, and this is where I keep like all my extra supplies and stuff. Index cards, things like that. So this is kind of the teacher area, and if they need a pencil, they can grab one from here. This will also be stocked up with pens and all kinds of stuff yet once we're ready to start our school year next week. This is where I keep all the extra paper, loose leaf, computer paper, stuff like that, book that I'm reading right now, 
This is our art paper we keep up here. And then an awesome box that I have. And I'll load this up yet with extra little things. I let them get little prizes and stuff when they've done really good in school for the week. So there's like a fidget spinner in here and erasers. Well, fake mustaches. You'd be surprised how much they like them. Little jewelry. I've got a magnetic um, picture frame. It's a Lego one. And then extra cool pencils because the kids really like to use these. So this is a little prize they can get and then they can use it for school. Um, and we'll put other things in there throughout the year, little pieces of candy, stuff like that. So then in here is where I keep a lot of stuff like the crayons and stampers, watercolor paints, which I still have to pick up, finger paints, things like that. Colored pencils. This is for glue and tape and scissors and staples. And I think there's some little prizes that got left in here for me by the kids. Yes, I keep the Christmas wrapping paper cutter in there too because it's an easy place to keep it and not lose it. We've got our scale for science class. These usually have extra permanent markers, highlighters, stuff like that because we just use them together. And then for Aspen, this will be his box and it'll have lots of crayons in it. The other kids will get to use the bigger box of crayons where they're kept nicer and easier to find. Our microscope and then we've got our graduated cylinders, a mixing bottle. This is a rock and mineral kit, so it has lots of different rocks and minerals. We've got our science kit in here, so we have goggles and uh, magnifying glass. We've got thermometers, microscope slides, and then we have a Petri dish, stuff like that. So that's what we have from last year yet. And we'll add to this stuff throughout the year. I'm getting ready to go online and order a few things for their school year. This is normally our craft bucket, you guys. So this is where I keep stuff like, and I've now started putting them in the Ziploc bags. That's why I have the big Ziploc bag thing down there because it's really easy to keep things organized a lot easier than it was last year. So this is our leftovers from last year. I keep sequins. I'll add feathers in here, beads, that kind of stuff. Popsicle sticks, I get the colored and then the plain ones. Googly eyes, little tissue papers for art projects. There's some colored googly eyes. And then we have like little fuzz balls. We'll put pipe cleaners, foam stickers, anything that they can do like projects, art projects, stuff like that with. And then this is our paint that we don't want Aspen getting into. So in here, I keep, um, Tempera paint, and then these are acrylics, and these, believe it or not, are actually watercolor paints. My mom gave them to us, and I thought that was really cool. And we have more acrylics down there. Um, these are oil pastels, some modeling clay, which I need to get them more modeling clay. We're almost out. And I also want to get, I'll show you over here, this thing Tierla made. This is a self-drying. It doesn't have to go in an oven, and it gets really hard, like you put it in a kiln. And it's like a, a white clay and they can paint it. So I want to get, I know I can get a five gallon bucket, I think, at Hobby Lobby. And I want to pick one up for the kids so that they can do all kinds of cool projects for different things that we're working on. This is just kind of a miscellaneous bucket that I keep. This has our recorder cleaners because we have recorders and tambourines for the kids for music class. It has some blow up gloves that they've never used. But I'm thinking one of these days we might just take them out and play outside with them for a history class. And then lots of art shirts in here, old t-shirts. It's their old school shirts from when they went to public school. We use those for art shirts. This is our library bag where we return our library books. And then this is our little home library that we have that we can read from. Up here, this is our math center. So we keep geometric shapes. And I have the math cubes that show them how to use. These are hundreds. And then there's the big thousands cube that's down there. You can't really see it. And then ones and tens. These are more, uh, these are snap cubes. These are awesome for math if you've never used them. I will show you when we're doing our homeschool how we use them. They are so nice to teach kids math. And then lots of flat geometric shapes for doing other math activities. I keep a Rubik's cube because sometimes they like to use them in class. And then we have flashcards. This is sidewalk paint, so this is sometimes an activity that I take Aspen out to do for preschool and he really likes it. You just add water and it's like powdered chalk and you add water to it and then he can paint. And I gave him one of my old G 
cheap household paintbrushes and he takes it out to the sidewalk and sometimes the other kids join in. And here is our puzzle center. So my neighbor actually taught me this trick and you take the front of your puzzle off and then you just put the pieces in a Ziploc bag and they don't get lost. And I thought that was really cool. So we've got a bunch of puzzles in here that the kids can take out when they need to do a little quiet time or something. And then down here I also keep clipboards. Now I'm missing a couple so I have to pick a couple up for the kid yet. But I give them to them when they're not using the school desk. So we only have one and I'm looking to get one for each of the kids. And then our table will probably move to the toy room or out to the foyer for them to work on during the school year. Plus it folds down so maybe I can just put it in the corner until we need to use it for an experiment. But they really, really like the school desk and right now I only have one so I'm hoping to get more. Over here is some more of our fun decoration. I do keep a heater in here because this room actually doesn't have heat so in the winter time I have to plug this in when it gets really cold for us to use this room. But then my mom gave us this and I just thought it was really cool. It's got like one, two, threes and ABCs on the side and then it says toys and it also has storage in the inside but it needs fixed. It needs a handle put on it and some of the shelves fixed. So right now we just keep it in the corner and I thought that was really cool for our school room. And we have an old antique globe that we keep up here just for decoration. And then what I do on top of this, and Braxton actually has a library book that needs to go back, but... Um, I put extra, the books that they're currently reading or we're reading together for class on top of here and it's a nice easy access place to get it and they don't get lost in the midst of this. So that is our school room tour and the homeschool haul of all of our homeschool supplies. So far this year, I'm actually gonna go on tonight onto the computer and work a little bit on the first week's school curriculum and what I wanna get ready for the kids. So that's kind of what of our days consisted of. We have been researching for Scaretober. I'm really excited to do that with you guys. Um, I'm a little scared to do it with you too, but I think it's gonna be a really cool thing. And then of course, getting ready for our school year, which starts next Tuesday. Mm -hmm.